America. Welcome to my channel if you're new here and if you're not, welcome back. Today's video I'm so excited for because it is going to be my spring try on haul. I love filming hauls so much because I just feel like I get to show you guys who are like my friends what I bought and what I'm like excited about and how I'm gonna style it and stuff. So I love watching hauls. I hope you guys do too. Make sure to let me know in a comment below if you enjoy watching my hauls. I have some really cute pieces that I'm going to share with you guys today and I will say quite a bit of them are accessories because I've just been on this like accessory binge lately. Don't know why. <laughs> I'll try to link everything I can find down below for you guys in case you want to buy something that you see in this video today. Without further ado, do, let's just get right into the video. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the things that are not from Free People because there are a few things that I bought at Brandy Melville. These are items that I bought when I was in New York. We just kind of popped into the Brandy Melville there and I hadn't been into one of their stores in a while so I found a few little things that I'm going to show you guys. The first little top I bought looks like this. It is just this like navy blue cropped t-shirt. It's slightly cropped I would say. I liked it because it just had like a little doodled map of New York on it. I don't have very many like basic like tees like this so I thought it would be good to add to my wardrobe. I like it. It's really cute and every time I look at it I kind of just miss New York honestly. <laughs> also if you hear like a very distant sound of like a flute um, I think someone is playing their flute or accordion outside in the park. Sorry about that. I mean, hey, it's probably making them happy, so we'll just let them do their thing. <laughs> the next top I really liked because it reminded me of home, aka Northern California, aka the Bay Area, aka San Francisco. So it is this little cute cropped tee. This one has more of like a boxier, looser fit, whereas the other top was more fitted. I really like this because it has the Golden Gate Bridge on it and it says San Francisco, California, which is like my home city. I've worn this with like a pair of Levi jeans and just like a oversized sweater and it's just a very casual, cute look. I also just want to share this other top that I bought in Soho. I bought it at this very like feminist themed store. Like it was all pink inside and they just had like the coolest little knickknacks in there and like t-shirts. And that day was the day before the Women's March in New York and they were like literally making signs for the march. I was like, this is amazing. Like what, how did we like end up here? But it was so cute. So I wanted to buy something obviously. I believe the store was called Bulletin Board. So I got this t-shirt and it's just a white t-shirt and then it says feminist and it just has a ton of iconic women on the front of it. Girl power, I love this top so much. It is very thin though, so it's kind of like see-through and I hate wearing bras, so it's like, what do I do? <laughs> but um, it's a cute like top to layer with as well. I forgot to mention, I also picked up this black beret at Brandy Melville. It's cool, I like it. I wanted another color and I just felt like black was like a staple color and I wore it in my last video actually. So yeah, love this. Now we're moving on to free people. So we got this dress in our store and I was just like, what the heck? This seems like it was made for me. I need to try this on and I did and I fell in love. This is going to be really hard to show right now, but you'll see it in the trial portion. But it is this very pretty green maxi dress. It's a very earth tone green though. Like obviously I couldn't wear like a bright green or anything like that. But I love this earthy green color. I definitely know it's still available because it's pretty new. So I'll make sure to have it linked below if you want to check it out. Also, I got an extra small in it so it does run big because I'm usually a small. So I did have to get the extra small. Next up, we've got a two-piece set from Free People. And this one has been very popular lately. It's called the Nile River set. I like know that because it's so like popular at our store. So the top looks like this. I have the black and white color combo. Um, I just felt like 
I would wear it more, so that's why I got this one. But it comes in like a red and white combo as well. This is what the top looks like. It's just short sleeve and cropped, and it kind of like bunches up right here at the bottom. And the pants look like this. They're just very like flowy and the legs are wide. These definitely are high-waisted and they probably hit like right above your belly button I would say. I wore this already and I just felt like I was wearing pajamas because they're just so freaking comfortable. My greatest obsession lately has been bell bottom jeans, any kind of like flare jean I just love. I think they're so flattering. They can just make like a basic denim look so unique and different. This first pair I just bought super recently but this is what they look like. These are a charcoal wash and they actually don't have a um, button. They just kind of have two like little clamps and then like a zipper. So I kind of like that. I think that's different than any of the other flares I have, which all have like buttons. These are so comfortable. They're very stretchy, which I love. And the best part about these is the fact that they are not long. These are the regular length and the regular length is short enough that I can wear sneakers with these which is awesome because usually I have to wear like some kind of heeled booties with my flares and sometimes when I'm working eight hours it's not comfortable at all. Just for like reference I am 5'4 I would say. Now this next pair of bell bottoms are very similar to those because they're the same color but their style is different. Trust me, it's super different. Those ones I just showed were also low rise, low to mid rise, I would say. These are high rise. These are the Free People Float On Flares. I love that they're high-waisted. I think they're so flattering that way. And these are long, so I do have to wear them with booties, like heel booties, but they like just elongate your figure very well. And I mean, the flare is huge on these, which I live for. These have been like a favorite of mine and I want to buy the regular denim wash of them as well because I just think they fit so well and they're also very comfortable and flattering, like I said. Next, I have a pair of shoes to share with you guys. These I just bought like two days ago, but I'm such a huge fan of them and I was eyeing them for so long, but I was waiting for payday. So this is what they look like. They are these loafers, which are so freaking cute. The best part about them is that they are 100% vegan, so they are made by the brand BC Footwear, and I've talked about them before because I have a pair of booties from them, and I love them, except I can't wear them for like very long because they do get uncomfortable after a while, but these I wore for a full 8 hour shift and I was completely fine in because they don't really have like much of a heel as you can see. I just love them. They're just a great color. I love the color cognac. I just feel like I'm going to be able to style them with so many different outfits. I can't wait. <laughs> Next I just want to mention the hat that I'm currently wearing because this is from Free People as well. It is just this ivory felt hat and I love it. I think ivory is one of the colors I don't have in hats. I'm such a hat person. You guys probably know that by now but this one I saw and I was like that should be my wardrobe. Love this hat a lot and it is adjustable which is a huge plus. I also have a few pairs of sunglasses to show you guys. So this first pair I mentioned in one of my previous vlogs. They look like this. I would say they're like a dupe for the um, Kylie Times Key collection sunglasses. One of the pairs just looks a lot like these, but I obviously wasn't going to pay for like the real ones. So I saw these in our store and I was like, oh heck yeah, <laughs> like pretty similar. They're unique and they add to like a basic outfit, I would say. Next, I've got some aviators, which I haven't worn aviators since like middle school, but these I just thought were really cool. And I'm the kind of person that my style usually depends on my mood, like what I wear on a certain day depends on how I feel. 
if that makes sense. Sometimes I feel like I want to be a badass and wear like my leather jacket and these sunglasses, <laughs> like, you know? That's why I got these, because I have days where I feel like I need a good pair of aviators to wear my outfit. And then the last thing that I purchased at Free People lately was a necklace, which I love. I didn't love it at first, but then I tried it on with like the outfit I was wearing and it looks super good with the green dress I showed earlier. It looks like this. It's just this like layered necklace with like the little horn. I love that. I also love how it has that little piece that comes down like the middle of like your chest. Love that look. I just thought it was very pretty and I could wear it with like quite a few different things. Today's beverage is yerba mate tea raspberry flavored. Fun fact, actually this company started in a town that's super close to my hometown. So I always tell people that and it's just like crazy because like the warehouse is over there and like they allow people to tour it and I've never toured it before but I kind of want to. All right guys, so that is pretty much it for all the items that I've purchased lately. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this haul. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Before I go, I've got a quote for you, don't worry. Today's quote comes from one of my favorite books that I'm currently rereading and it is The Alchemist. I love this quote, it has to be one of my favorites from my many favorite quotes of the book. The quote is, and when you want something, all the universe conspires in helping you to achieve it. When we want something and when we are willing to take action and set an intention and manifest the life that we want, that is when the universe really, really conspires to help us. Even if the universe takes us down a different path that we never intended, it will always be the right one and it will always be the better one. So when you are just willing and motivated to do something that you've always wanted to do or to accomplish something you've always wanted to accomplish, the universe is gonna help you. The universe is not against you and I think so many of us think that way. We just need to realize that the universe is just basically mirroring back what we are putting out. So if we are constantly putting out negativity, the universe is just gonna give us negativity back because it's it's a law of attraction, like that's what you're going to attract if that's what you're putting out. Just always know that the universe is always working, it's always watching, and so whatever you do, it's going to have a direct effect on you. That's the quote for the day, I hope you guys liked it. Thank you all so much for watching this video, I am so so grateful for all of your support and love. I hope you are all having an amazing day or night whenever you're watching this video, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys!